Thank you for joining us. And again, a warm welcome to the program. We begin in Mali, where the army says it neutralized 10 terrorists in the central region of the country, a troubled region that's particularly affected by jihadist violence, often mixed with uh, communal conflicts. According to a statement from the Defense Ministry, the military recovered weapons, explosive devices, and other war materials. Meanwhile, the country's defense minister, Tiananmen Koulibaly, has asked for support from locals in backing defense and security forces in their fight against terrorism. At least 10 armed men considered terrorists have been killed in central Mali, more precisely in Karakinde and the Mopti region, an area affected by jihadist violence. According to authorities, the incident took place during clashes in Karakinde and the Mopti region, but on the spot at the locality of Koro, no information on the circumstances is available. Defense Minister Tiani Kolibali congratulated the army and invited the population to continue to give their support to defense and security forces in the fight against terrorism in all its forms. And that said, in recent months, announcements by the Malian army of the neutralization of terrorists in central Mali have often been challenged by human rights organizations and residents who have condemned extrajudicial executions. I'd like to remind you that on the 19th of May last year, during a, a patrol at a market in the town of uh, Bulukesi near Burkina Faso, following the death of a Malian soldier, the army retaliated by killing 12 people. 